After a hot start to the season, the UNH women's basketball team recently endured a five-game losing streak. The Wildcats responded by winning two big conference games and looked to finish the season strong heading into the playoffs. We had a little bit of a, a bumpy stretch there. Um, went on a five-game losing streak, uh, but then was really proud of how the girls bounced back. Uh, we won two you know, good games uh, on the road at Binghamton, at home against a good Hartford team, uh, and then we just lost our last one at Lowell. Uh, but you know what, right now uh, I think we're starting to play how we were playing back to like the last time we talked and uh, more balanced scoring. And Elizabeth Belanger has just been on a mission these last three games. Uh, 25 points in the last three games and she's really tried to carry the team on her back and we just need some other people to step up in, in this next game and then going to the tournament play. Elizabeth Belanger has been a staple for the squad all season long, averaging over 15 points and 6 rebounds per game. She led the Cats with 25 points in a February 14th win at Binghamton, helping the team get back on track. Elizabeth has game in and game out just giving, even if it's not 25 points, I mean her rebounding, um, we've slid her now to the post position. Um, she just really does whatever it takes to help her team be successful. Uh, but just coming up with those numbers in these last three games has just been really, truly remarkable. And even some of the misses she had in the Lowell game just, you know, rimmed in and out. I mean, she very easily could have had 35, you know, plus points. She's taking high percentage shots. She's getting to the rim. Um, so I'm just pleased with how she's playing. She's, getting, she's improving every single game. Coming up on March 1st, the main Black Bears will come to Durham for the regular season finale. The Black Bears are currently on a 13-game winning streak and sit atop the America East Conference at 13-1. and but Coach McGarity is optimistic on their senior day rivalry game. This time of year, anything can happen. You know, obviously we, re we respect what Maine has done. They've had an amazing year. Um, they're on this winning streak. Uh, but anything can happen in February, you know, and, we, and we've talked about that. You look at scores not only in our league the last couple games, but, you know, also throughout the country. Strange things happen in February towards the end of um, regular season. So we just have to do what we do best and not get caught up in, um, worrying about Maine right now. I think right now we just have to get back to playing the defense that we know we're capable of, shooting the ball the way we know we're capable of shooting it. And, you know, and it's senior night, so it's a special night. Emotions will be going high, and it's Maine, so it's a huge rivalry game. The Wildcats are currently number four in the America East standings, but they believe they can make a run at the conference title and earn the right to play in the NCAA tournament. The girls are focused. Um, they still have that ultimate goal of, of winning you know, conference championship and going to the NCAAs, and I think for the senior class, that's always been a goal for them um, since they came here on campus. And um, you know what? I think just because we've had such an up and down season, um, you know, I think we all believe that we're we're going to peak at the right time and we're going to start playing basketball the way that we know we can it and play get back to playing team basketball. And I think that's what helped us really win some games early on. And um, so everybody's you know our minds are right, and we're just excited to get back to Binghamton.